today we're going to learn a new lesson. Before we start our today's lesson, let us all rise, bow our heads, and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty God, we praise you, we glorify you, and we honor you. We thank you for all the blessings and lives that you have given us. We are sorry for all our shortcomings and sins. We ask for your forgiveness, O God. We offer you this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, kids. Do you want to learn a new dance? Let's go! that you have to know in order to clearly understand our today's so first who among you knows how to read a clock how does a clock moves or how does the hand of the clock moves yes Kimberly very good the hand of a clock moves like this so what do you call this movement? It starts with the letter C. Clocking? No, it's not clocking. Circulating? Hmm, no, it's not circulating. This is what you call clockwise. Please read, Ron. Thank you, Ron. So that is the definition of the clockwise. So, how about the opposite of clockwise? What do you call the opposite of the clockwise? You don't know? Well, the opposite of the clockwise is called counterclockwise. Please read, Shella. Thank you, Shella. So, that is the definition of counterclockwise. So, now, let us demonstrate the clockwise and the counterclockwise. Do it with me. Clockwise. The counterclockwise. Is that clear with you guys? Okay, let us proceed to the next word. So, who among 
among you saw a compass. What can you see in a compass? Yes, Wilson. The directions very good. Compass has four directions, namely the east, west, north, and south. In this illustration, the east is here. The west is here. The north is here. And the south is here. It was said that the sun rises in the east. So if this is where the sun rises, this is my east. Very good. And the opposite of the east is west. Very good. And in my front, the direction is north. Very good. And at my back, the direction is south. Very good. Let us recall again. If this, in my place, the sun rises here, it is east. Very good. And the opposite of the east is west. In addition, west is where the sun sets. And in my front, it is north. Very good. At my back, it is south. Right. So now, let us study the third word. Have you ever ride on a carousel? Wow, that's amazing! Many of you already rode in a carousel. So let's say that this circle is a carousel. And this is the horse you are riding. We already know that the horse will spin around the circle, following a pattern. And that is what you call an axis. Please read PK. So now, we already know the three main words, such as the clock, which is the clockwise and the counterclockwise, the compass, which is the four directions, the east, the west, the north, and the south, and lastly, the carousel, which pertains to the axis. It is important to fully understand our topic. Class, which do you prefer? A day or a night? Answers? Yes, Joyce? Wow, that's very interesting. But still, don't forget to study your lessons, okay? Any more answers? Yes, Hartley? Wow, that's a very nice one too. So, we already know that everyone has their own preference day whether they want a day or a night. But remember that those are not controllable because they are natural phenomena. But do you know how day and night happens? Why we have only 365 days in a normal year? Or why does a leap year occurs only every four years. Those questions appeared into your young minds will be answered as we tackle our lesson for today. The motions of the earth. Rotation, revolution. Motions or movements. Motions of the earth is the movement of the planet earth which affects several phenomena such as number of days in a year, day and night, seasons, climate, etc. Motions of the earth can be classified into two, namely, rotation and the revolution. Please read the first one, Marisa. Thank you very much. And the second one, please read, Joanna. Thank you. So, those motions, rotation, and evolution will be deeply understood as we go through this experiment. Before we start our experiment, have you bring your materials, kids? Okay, let's check them all. Raise your sketch papers. 
your sticks. Tape. Flashlight. Or you can use phone flashlight for alternatives. Then, since I didn't require you to bring a light bulb, you can use a flashlight and a glass. That's all. Let's start! Step 1. Create a paper ball using scratch papers. Cover it with scotch tape. So you can come up with this. May I see your work class? Wow, that's very good. So now, let us proceed to step number two. Pierce the ball at its center using sticks. Be careful, huh? Now, it will look like this. Raise your ball pierced with sticks, class. Okay. Now, let us proceed to step number three. Go to the back or corner of the classroom where you can fully see the light of the flashlight. Okay, go to your corresponding places, class. Now, turn on the flashlight and point it to the ball. Okay? Are you following, class? Okay, the next step. Rotate the ball using the sticks. Okay. Rotate it on eastward movement. Okay. For the last step, place the flashlight like this. Covered it with glass, which is alternative to bulb. Let your classmate hold the flashlight and the glass while the other one hold the pierced ball. Now, as you rotate the ball in an eastward position, revolve it or rotate it around the flashlight. Okay. Rotate it fully around the glass. And that ends our experiment! To fully finish and understand our experiment today, I provided you a guide question. Number one, what have you observed between the flashlight and the ball? How about between the bulb and the ball? Number two, and the flashlight and the paper ball, why do you think the light could not cover the entire ball? Number three, in the bulb and the paper ball, how many ball rotations do you think to make a complete revolution around the bulb? Number four, where can you relate the flashlight and the paper ball or bulb and paper ball? Number five, can you relate the dark and bright part of the ball to day and night? How? Number six. If every rotation of the ball is equivalent to a day, how many days do you think it will finish one revolution around the ball? Number seven. Based on the activity, how can you differentiate the rotation of the earth on its own axis and its revolution around the sun. And for the last question, number 8, what conclusion or generalization can you generate from this experiment? You will answer those questions in the cartolina and marker inside this envelope that I will be given to you. Okay class, 
Uh, 15 minutes is done and I think all of the groups are finished answering. So we will start the reporting. Group 1 representative, come to the front and present your answer. So group 1, I was impressed by your answers and I think we really understood what we have tackled for today. Uh, now, let's proceed to group 2. Thank you class, I'm so impressed with your presentation. I'm so glad that all of you understood our today's topic. But to further explain the two main motions of the earth, first, rotation. Spell it out. R O T A T I O N. Say it again. Rotation. Earth rotates on its own axis in an eastward motion, like this. Earth rotation is also responsible for the occurrence of day and night. Let's say that this small paper represents your location and we will gonna paste it here so when the light hit your place it means that you are experiencing right day or morning it was said that earth rotates 24 hours or to complete one rotation it takes 24 hours so as it rotates you're in the back position and the sunlight doesn't hit your place. So it means you are experiencing right night. So that's how rotation happens. And that's how day and night occurs. Now, let's talk about revolution. Revolution is the earth rotation around the sun. Like this. One revolution takes 365 and one fourth days or one year. But in a normal year, we only consider 365 days. So, what happened to the one fourth day? Every four year, leap year occurs. Leap year has 366 days. The additional one day was the compressed one fourth days from the previous for years. So that one day was added to the month of February to be specific in February 29. And that's how rotation and evolution happens. So let me ask you, have you ever wondered what happened when the earth stops spinning or rotating? Any answers? Yes, Gail? Oh, that's a good idea. But to be precise, if the earth stops rotating or spinning, then this is your place. And if it stops here, you will experience all your days with a morning or a day. While those days that those places behind you will experience completely darkness or night because the earth stops and the sun only focuses in one part of the earth. That's why rotation and revolution is important to balance everything, the phenomena, life occurrence, and the human activities. Earth should continuously spin or rotate or revolve and that's how it all happens okay class before we end our lesson today i have a few questions for you to know whether you understand or learn something from this lesson so how long does it take to complete one rotation yes andrea correct so, let's give Andrea a TikTok lap. So, tap on your left shoulder, tap on your right shoulder, raise your hand, sway, sway, clap, clap, clap. 
Okay, do it with me. One, two, three, go. Left, right, up, sway, sway, clap, clap, clap. Wow, very good. Okay, next question. How long does it take to make a complete revolution? Yes, Bina. Okay, very good. That's right. So, let's give Bina a wonderful clap. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Wonderful. Okay. So, another question. Give at least one importance of rotation or revolution. Okay, Genesis. Okay, that's right. Very good. Let's give her a tiktok clap. Again, left, right, up, sway, sway, clap, clap, clap. Very good. Okay, for the last question, give one difference between rotation and revolution. Yes, Ron? Okay. That's right. So give Rod five claps. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Man. So I'm really glad that all of you understood our topic for today. So let's get one for cheetah paper and answer this. Class. Exchange your papers with your seatmates and we will check your answers. Okay, number one, false. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, true. And lastly, number five, false. So, who got five? Wow, very good, all of you. All of you got five points. So, everyone, let's give each other five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now, class, um, get your notebook and copy this as your assignment. Alright, kids. I hope you're finished copying your assignment. Pick up your trash, pack your things, and don't forget to do your homework. Always pray. Always be grateful to God. Goodbye.